Welcome to day two of my little spur of the moment Sunshine Coast trip. Oh, so far it paid off with an awesome day yesterday. And today, today it looks like it could be another cracker. I had so much fun chasing the Mac tuners yesterday. I come out to do it again and it looks like they're going ham. I just put the electric down so as not to try and spook it. So yesterday we had a cracker day with Sam and today I've got I think everyone's back at school today, so the boat ramp was really chilled this morning. Yesterday it was packed as. So this morning we're going back out. We're gonna try for some more Mac tuna for a little bit. And then straight after chasing some Mac tuna, if I get one, a couple of Mac tuna, then I'm gonna go straight back in. I've got a big high tide this morning. I'm gonna chase some swim bait flatties. Then I'm gonna have to head home. We're gonna keep slowly making our way towards these birds. School of birds, fast enough underneath as well. So we're just gonna slowly make our way over here. Let's see what happens. Looks like they're busting up in in closer. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to do the old petrol today. Yeah far out they're busting up big time. Here we go, come on. Yep, yes, yes. Oh, it's a good one, woo! Yes! Oh, that's a good one, he ate it both sides. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I bought the heavier gear today. Oh, man. Oh, he ate that out the boat. Wow. It's been so long since I caught fish that pulled drag. Unbelievable. I got right up to the school that time and they didn't shut down, they were still going ham. Oh yes, baby. I've always wanted to do this. Look at him go nuts. Come on, come on. That's a good fish. This would be another one of those like Six, seven kilo mackerel, not mackerel, mac tuna. I've always wanted to do this, always wanted to do this. Chase tuna on the skiff, although they're not the most prized tuna in the world. I'm freaking gonna have fun. There you go. Have you go. Oh, listen to it go. On the little modified hole prawn again. Just looks exactly like a white bait. I've cut it down to about two inches. Oh my goodness. Freaking love this. Man. Look at all the white bait. There's so much white bait sitting around the boat. They must just hone in on one freaking. Oh, look, there he is below the boat on the down skin. They must just hone in on one bait because. He followed that out of the school. I had one miss at it, 
and then come back and grab them. Oh my goodness. There he goes, come on. Oh, look at the bait. There we go. There it is. Come on. Gee, they love a good fight, don't they? There we go. This is a, um, what kind of rod is it? Six to eight kilo. Yesterday we were using 1.5 to 3 kilo rods. There he is. Yes! Have a go with that! Oh, put him over the side. Check that tuna out! On the little prawn. Totally destroyed it. There you go. Little modified prawn. Oh, that is an absolute foot. They are feeding up. They are so fat. They are feeding up massive. Check that out. That is insane. Check the colors. He just threw up, threw up like a whole big one. Check the colors on these things. They are so cool. Man, right, eh? Spew him back in. There he goes. Woo! Check the mud, the guts, and everything he's been throwing up. So, this is what they're eating. This is the white bait they're after. This is the lure. Perfectly matched the hatch with that, hey? So, that's the white bait. That's the white bait they're after. That's the lure that I've chopped up, and it is pretty much identical. Look at the hook. The hook is totally cooked. It's like bent. That's not good actually. That's the only one quarter I got left. Oh, that was like a boat. That was a boat side eat. That was insane. Might have to try a little Halco Twisty. I don't think they're going to eat it. That's the last one quarter ounce jig head I've got. And it's totally cooked. Like you can't, I can't even reshape it. Right, I'm going to try a little 15 gram Halco Twisty. I'm not confident in this thing whatsoever. Yesterday we tried probably about 20 different lures and that little thing was the only one we got a bite on in the afternoon. Might be able to do that with the three eight downs. But that's a, I don't know. I don't know if they'll still eat it. It's worth a try though if they don't hit the twisty. There's about three different schools busting up. Oh, we'll go to the ones with the birds because they've been going for the last like 15 minutes. Kill switch on, they're still busting up. Let's go try with the twisty. Let's go try. They're still there. Look, you can see them right on the surface here. Oh, right to the boat. Uh, I think I might go swim bait some flatties. What do you reckon? I got a new swim bait rod that I've been itching to test out. So I think I might go do that. Otherwise I'm just going to be driving around all day chasing these schools that keep shutting down. Right, let's swim bait some flatties. Glide baits normally work better. So any sort of glide bait. This dam craft's always been a good one. Flatties seem to love this. It's crystal clear water, so I might go with it again. Gan craft, it's a 178. It's the start of the run out. So we should be in for a good, good session. If we can find some. This is the first time I've actually explored this area, so 
I don't know how much to expect. I haven't actually even seen a flathead lie yet. I haven't even gone looking. So if we can get one, it'll be an absolute miracle. It's crystal clear water, but the wind chop is making it really difficult to see. Come on, big girls. Big girls, you are beautiful. You take your skinny girl and multiply by four Cause a whole lot of woman needs a whole lot more Just really aggressively twitching this and then pausing it Get him to come and have a look at it, that's what you want You want to get him to come and have a look Get yourself to the butterfly lounge, find yourself a big lady Big boys come on with this super clear water, they will come a long way to, 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 have a, to have a geese. I've seen them come from like 15, 20 metres away from, from where the, the lure is. So you don't really have to get it with the crystal clear high tides. You don't really have to get it in front of their face. You just have to get it so they see it. And so that's why you do those really erratic dances. There we go, we got to follow. That thing was all of about 10 centimetres. Flatty followed it all the way to the boat. Would have been lucky if it hit 20 centimetres, no joke. Where there's one, it's potentially more. This side looks really shallow and it looks really good to be honest. Maybe this is the side they sit on. Surely there's got to be some flatties down this stretch. Pitch him into the shallows. Oh! Big one just come up and had a go at it. Oh, he's coming back for it. Oh, he's gone deep. He's gone deep. I'm going to let it sink down. Oh, he's had two cracks at it. Oh man! What a freaking ease! He came up and smacked, like almost smacked it, and then he took off again, and then he came back, and he just like, and then he almost smacked it again. Oh, there's another one! Oh, that's the second one that's come up and had a look. This edge definitely getting a few more looks than that other edge. It's good tide from too. It's just started, you know, pushing out. So they're going to be sitting right on that drop off, and I'm casting right up into about 10, 20 centimeters of water next to these mangroves, and then just twitching it off this drop off. Well, I just walked into the bush to relieve myself and uh, you're not going to believe this, but the tree I chose to relieve myself on has a $50 note underneath it. Ah! <laughs> How good is that? Literally just walked into the bush to, to get rid of some of the old bodily fluids and I will look down and there's literally a $50 note in the mud. Today is a good day. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh. She's a bit faded, but she's a 50. How is that? Unfreaking believable. How long do you reckon that's been? How long do you reckon that's been floating around? Like it's meant to be yellow. For your, for all you American viewers, it's meant to be yellow. How good is that? <laughs> oh man, I should start relieving myself in the bush more often. 
50 bucks to go to the toilet. Can't get any better than that, can you?